Home isn't home without a fireside pet. Simba fills a bill for Morris Sharp and his family. Morris is his keeper at Wellingborough Zoo and likes to bring the little chap home for the evening. Simba's only 15 months old, but he's already quite a hearth rug full. Lions, of course, are easily house trained. All the same, poor old Tibby prefers another room. It's a lovely evening. How about a stroll? Both man and man's best friend think it's a good idea. Stay in any longer and they'll get sleepy. Come on, Simba. For the sake of neighbours who are afraid that lions are dangerous, Morris takes his pet on a lead, then drives, because they're off to the next village named Isham. Simba's happy to be a passenger, none of the backseat driver about him. Isham has a line of its own, the Red Lion, and good heavens, that's just where they're going. What an entrance. What were they afraid of? Mine host Fred Noble looks on Simba as one of his best behaved customers. Never wild with his bitter. He's a jungle type. He knows that beer is best for you. A double Wellingborough works wonders. Only one thing wrong with Simba. He drinks all he can get, but he never stands around himself. If he has any more, he'll imagine he's seeing pink men. Have another Simba? I don't mind if I do. 